I think what we did is I went in and uh, didn't have a lot to say because I pretty much said it all during the year. But I did say something to the effect I'd like for you to close your eyes uh, and reflect back on the journey. And I think my line at that point was uh, the journey is never complete till you take the last step. And with that I just asked them to shut their eyes for a minute and think back to the Yellowhound bus 12 hour trip to Bowie's Creek to all the trips we'd made, all the games we'd gone to together, and all the thought processes and all the uh, success and failure we'd had, and uh, let's go take the last step. The black athletes at the time played a much different game than we did. It was much more intense, it was, uh, it was quicker, it was faster. Uh, they were generally better athletes than we were. Insurmountable odds all the way. They were underdog in every ball game. And in the offseason, we, we did weight training. We we ran hills with weighted vests. We we jump, we put weighted vests on and, and jumped chairs and jumped up on stage and, and jumped rope and uh, some pretty creative things. And if you tell us that we can be better than we are, we believe you. We do what he said to do. If we do these drills, do all that stuff behind the scenes, all that off-season stuff, you know, run the hill, wear the weighted vest, run the track, pump iron, we can win. Sprint from 15 feet, boom! 64, 63, Mark Smith by one. On behalf of the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame, we're very happy and pleased to have the collection of Coach Clifton and the, telling the story of Mark Smith basketball here at the Hall of Fame. It's only with the help of donors and uh, the athletes and coaches of Georgia that we're able to tell the stories of, of Georgia sports and basketball and this incredible story of Mark Smith basketball. Bottom play, feels it. Layup shot is up in the end by Chris. 10 seconds. 72, 71. Mark Smith by one. This is an incredible basketball story. You have a small school choosing to play in the large school classification. A championship game with 18 lead changes in the fourth quarter. A starting five without an African American playing against a seven foot center and two forwards, six seven and six six. On paper, there's no way for them to win. But they had a dream and a coach who had prepared them to play above the rim. They defeated teams with players that went on to play for the Celtics, Philadelphia 76ers, and the Globetrotters. It is Monday, March the 10th, 1969. The high school basketball championship game for the state of Georgia is scheduled to tip off at 8 o'clock tonight on the Georgia Tech campus. There are no other sporting events in the state this evening, just this game. At a new high school, with fewer than 400 students that has chosen to play in the large school classification is capturing the hearts of basketball fans everywhere. The question, where is Mark Smith, is the rallying cry for the team. And with four radio stations covering the game, it is estimated that 400,000 listeners are tuning in. From jam to pack, Alexander Memorial Coliseum on the Georgia Tech campus. It's SRO night, standing room only, and friends, they are standing three and four deep around the top of the Coliseum. I'll tell you something, if they don't write about this room the years to come, I don't know what'll happen. Double overtime. Double overtime.